So we're in Concho, which is eh, northeast Arizona. And um, we're just hanging out. We just got here. This is our new property. We bought it a couple of months ago. We're just going to camp on our property for a few nights on our way east. And uh, I just thought I'd do a little walk around. It's not a big property, it's not much, but it's about an acre. And that's got water, sewer, and electric right on the lot line. So it's going to take us probably a couple thousand dollars to run water, sewer, and electric up to our building pad. Um, we're going to do, we'll do this in phases, but the first thing we're going to do is uh, an RV pad, obviously, and a patio, and like a storage building that we can also hang out in. It'll be fun. You know, we got to have a, a laundry room. Um, as any full-time RVer knows, laundry's a pain in the butt. So, um, anyway, just going to do a quick little look around. There's no cactus here, which is really cool. There's a, a few sage, a lot of juniper. Not a lot of shade with juniper, but you do get some nice privacy. They are effective at screening. So, uh, come on, Jake. Come on. He already ate. I think he's feeling lazy. Probably wants to go sit down. <laughs> so take your time, buddy. <laughs> Get paid by the hour. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, we've got um, right over there is a utility box. And then um, there's a sewer main right down here uh, next to the main road. So we'll have a pad back in here screened with lots of good privacy. And there's no neighbors. There's a house way over there, a couple of houses up on that hill. And um, there's a house, I don't know, two, three hundred yards over there in that direction on the other side of the trees. But there's no sight lines. So... Privacy wise, it's really good. Um, I can't complain. I mean, this area of Arizona is friggin' awesome. There's no CCNRs. We can live on this property as long as we want in our RV if we choose to. I think the plan at this point would be to um, stay in our RV the first year, I don't know, six or eight months or a year, and then uh, build a house or something. I don't know. We'll have to see plans change. But um, yeah, it's a cool place. Harry from up the hill, we just met him. He came by and uh, introduced himself. Great guy. Gave us the local rundown, who to look out for, and <laughs> you know, all that stuff. So, uh, definitely going to be putting up some fencing at some point. Looks like somebody's been partying on our property, but that's fine. We'll get it cleaned up. But, uh, yeah, it's beautiful here. We've already got our own driveway cut in. Wasn't that nice of them to do that? There's nobody around for miles. It's so quiet here. I can hear some northern flickers. Crows. I've seen some coyote tracks. But it's, uh, 
it's very private, very quiet. A good place to settle in for a year or two. A little road over there goes right into town. And we get three to four bars of Verizon here. Pretty nice. Hi, huh, Jake. Home. At least next year, anyway. We can't build until after the after the snow, so we'll do something in April or May. Till then, you know, we'll uh, we'll just think about it and plan. That's it for now. Talk to y'all later.